here before. <sighs> That's because I'm usually trying to sleep during the daytime. <sighs> just like Ooh. all the other foxes. But I, I just, just can't, can't sleep, sleep in, in the, the daytime. daytime. You too? All of the owls in the forest are sleeping except me. And that's why I come to the forest camp for young birds. I wish forest camp was also for young foxes. I don't. I'm Odo, and this is Dodo. <gasps> oh dear. Couldn't you sleep last night, Odo? I couldn't stay awake. I try really hard to stay up all night, just like the rest of the owls. But I just fell asleep. Oh, Odo. Whoa. I can see everything from up here. Odo, here's my stuff. Let's play. I can see so much. I see Thelma and Sue playing hopscotch. But that's way over on the other side of camp. How can you see so far? Huh? Ah, I've been practicing using my oil vision, and today it's working great. My oil eyes can see far away things like they're right in front of me. I'll keep looking on this side, Odo, and you keep looking on that side. Ooh, I've already seen a stick. Where are you taking that leaf? Hey, Ben? Mom? What's Odo doing? Lost? Lost the plot. <gasps> We're not supposed to be in here, little Scuttle. Hi. Hey, what are you doing? Who are you talking to? Stop pushing. <laughs> We're locked in. <gasps> hey, hey, hey! Help! Leave me alone. Please come out. I just want to know why you're so scared. Because one of you is an What's wrong with being an owl? Owls eat mice, silly. <gasps> so you can go away. I'm never coming out. Eat mice? Ugh. Odo's my best friend, and he wouldn't hurt a fly. Uh, you're not going to eat me, even though you're an owl? No. So you're only scared of me because I'm an owl? And not because I look or art scary? Well, you're probably the least scary owl I've seen. In fact, you could almost say you look very friendly. But you are still an owl, and owls are always scary to mice. But I don't like being scary just because of what I am. Odo, remember when we first met Reggie? Yes, Reggie! Reggie's a fox. He scared you when we first met because we were told that foxes eat birds. <gasps> but Reggie doesn't. He's a vegetarian, and now he's our friend. Maybe you can be our friend too? Okay. sleepover tonight. A sleepover? Wow! Who are you inviting? Definitely you, but I'm not sure who else. Until I know, we should keep it quiet. Sleepover, 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 sleepover. Okay, okay. You can all come. It'll be the best party ever. We're so high. I can't see any X. I can't see it anywhere. Do you think we'll ever find the X? I know we can. Um... Ah, there it is. On the other side of camp. I see it with my oil vision. Let's go, Doodle. But we don't know what the treasure is. It could be huge. We might need help to dig it up. You're right. I'll go on ahead and start digging. You get some birds to help and bring them along. Good plan? Great plan. Everyone feels worried sometimes. I used to be afraid of flying lessons. But I just needed encouragement from my friends. And a little bit of time. <sighs> you don't always have to say yes, but you don't always have to say no either. Whoa. Ah! Diddle, help me! Yes, Soda! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Diddle! I'm okay! Don't fall asleep yet, Odo. <sighs> I'm not. I want to see the falling stars. Me too. Hmm. The ground here is a bit bumpy. 
I think I'll get some pine needles, put under my blanket to make it softer, like a nest. Good idea. Do you want me to come? No, it's okay. I'm going to be brave. What does your bird song sound like, Diddle? Um, my song sounds like this. <gasps> no, wait. It sounds like this. <gasps> oh, oh dear. I don't know what my song sounds like. I've never tried to sing before. Can't you just sing like the other doodle birds? I've never met another doodle bird. Oh. Maybe, maybe I don't have a song. Of course you do, Diddle. Every bird has a song. You and I will find your song together. Go away, Diddle! Come on, everybody. Give me an O. Give me a D. Give me an O. Give me a... Another O. What's that spell? O do. Oh, I did one O too many. <laughs> you can do it, Odo. You think so? I know so. You're right. I know I can. You are my best friend. And that makes me the luckiest bird in the entire forest. It's coming up the stairs. Oh, it's dark in here. Where's the light? What? What? Oh. Huh? Uh, go up and check on them. Look, the doodle of the night. We caught it. Completer. Completer? Hello, Odo. If you'd just be so kind as to let me down. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Completer. We thought you were the dodo of the night. No need to apologise. I rather think that's fixed my pack. Oh, yes, that's better. Much better. See you tomorrow, everyone. And thanks again. Whoopee! Running Forest Camp takes total focus and concentration. And you'll need this. I want you to be good and responsible birds while I'm gone. Pay attention to Pigeon Post. Oh, and stay out of my hut. I've just tidied it. Now, you finish your paintings and I'll be back very soon. Bird, Lee, no! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to our Don't Leave Us Show! We love you, Camp Leader! Please don't go! Oh, Camp Leader, please don't go! There's something about, um... The land of peaches you need to know It's so far away across the sea And in the land of peaches, um... They make terrible tea! Oh, this one's just for you, Camp Leader. What do you call a train carrying bubble gum? A choo-choo train! <laughs> you know, because you chew gum, so it's a choo-choo train! Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> 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 Please don't go, Camp Leader. Go where? Don't leave Forest Camp. I'm not going anywhere. I remember the first time I camped under the stars. Crisp night air, beautiful constellations. Of course, I was a little bird then. Peaches roasting on an open fire. Peaches? Uh, um, uh, now then, everybody gather round and I'll show you how to make a safe campfire. Ah! My biscuits! The thief! It's awful! Oh, I went into my hut to make a cup of tea and to have a... I mean, to check on the biscuits. The special biscuits? That's right. The triple chop chip and fudge ones that we keep right here mm. for when parents call by. Mm. Mm. And when I counted them, I discovered that one has been... has been... pinched! Oh. 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 We've got a biscuit thief. Who could have done such a thing? Maybe it was a bear. Bears love biscuits. Or maybe the biscuit nibbled itself. They're that delicious. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Martin showed us 
a game that he plays with his cousins. Martin, if you show everybody, we can all play together. Do you think they'd want to? Well, it might be fun. Can only Martins play it? No, it's for all kinds of different birds. I'll show you. First, you get a bunch of bark, sticks and leaves. You need good, long, dry pieces of bark. Like this one? Yes, that's perfect. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got it! Cool, now try flying it. Dada? <gasps> 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 Nothing to see here. Just a baby bird that, um, came out of a rock. <gasps> this isn't a rock, Odo. It's a real egg. <laughs> Stop pecking me. What does it want? It looks hungry. I'll go and find some food. And I'll keep it, um, busy. It's eating a pine cone. <gasps> no, a pine cone is not for eating. <gasps> it's for playing. Look. Great job! Now, what's this? Hup, hup, hup. Take the ball to me, Odo. But it's a game for little birds. <sighs> Just kidding. Hup. Hup. <gasps> yeah! Oh, thank you so much. Oh. You, oh, you would just hand it me a towel. Oh, you really are a helpful little creature, aren't you? Yes, I am. This is Michael. He always helps us whenever we need it. He's our friend. Well, pleasure to meet you. Mm. What's so cool about a feather? Box! Oh, hi, Reggie. We're finding feathers for Odo's feather album. It's got one feather from every bird in the forest. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> The campers still fly into the trees when they see you, Reggie. Maybe it's because my tail kind of looks like a tree. They see it and think, ooh, wouldn't it be lovely to go and have a nice rest on a real tree? That's not the reason. Birds find foxes very scary. Fly to the trees or things get hairy. Young Reginald, is that you? Why, it is. Mm -hmm. Look at you all grown up. I knew your granddad back when I was camp leader. Gather round, everyone. Young Reginald has come for a visit. But that's a fox! Now, now, there's no reason to be afraid of Reginald. He's a friendly fox, isn't he? Hmm. There we go, Odo. All sorts of party snacks. Wildberry jelly, popcorn, flapjacks, fruit kebabs, freshly squeezed lemonade and nuts. Yum! This is amazing! Especially the flapjacks. If you keep eating them, there'll be none for anybody else. They're here! <sighs> Did you make the seed cake, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Dad made the lemonade. And Mum's made the seed cake. Ta-da! Yes! Dad's not so good at baking cake, but he's the world champion lemonade maker! <sighs> My mum is a badger, and I'm adopted. Wow! One night, I was out looking for food when I found a teeny-weeny newly hatched baby bird. She was all alone and abandoned. I waited with her all night, but her mom and dad never came back. So she came to live with me, and I called her Doodle. And because I'm adopted, that's why I don't know what kind of bird I actually am. But we do know what kind of bird you are, my dear. You're the most wonderful, thoughtful, caring bird there is. Doodle looks after me now that I'm old and my eyes have stopped working. My eyes are big enough for both of us, Mum. Hello, Odo's Mum and Dad. Hello, Doodle. Doodle, and now you're staying up all night so we can go to the moon. We're going to bring back a piece of it to show everyone. On the moon? Shall we make you a snack to eat along the way? Yes! yes. yes. <clears throat> Mum, Dad, what are you doing here? 
Hello, Odo's mum and dad. Hi, Odo. Hi, Doodle. What's that by your feet? Dad, look! It's a piece of the moon. This is amazing. How is it possible? Ah, I believe it's called a pinhole camera. It's a very special trick of the light. Go and see for yourself. Oh, yes. We can show the others. The sun's shining and it's Jobs Day. Maybe you could find a job that would help cool an owl down on a hot day. Well, Dad, you know I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> Who found this baby eagle? Um, me? You? Well, thank you ever so much. This is Eaglet, my little grandbird, and we thought we'd lost him. Oh, thank you, Odo, for looking after him so well. Yep, I knew I could do this. OK, everyone. Eaglet needs to go and meet his real mum and dad. <gasps> well, maybe little Eaglet could come back for a visit. Anytime. <laughs> Good morning, campers! Excuse me, can you show us a chicken song? We chickens don't sing so much as we bark, and the bark depends on what we want to say. Okay, so how would you say seeds? Seeds is bark. And how would you say R? Bark! And how would you say yummy? Oh, that's a tough one. I believe that would be... Bark! Bark, 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 here it is! <gasps> Palma! It's perfect! That's because you're beautiful! Oh, you're so sweet! No, you're sweet! No, you! No, you! No, you! No, you! No, you! No, you! Are no, you finished? I'll open my beautiful tail. It's so beautiful, she won't be able to look at anything else. Do we all agree? Mm. Eh? Rudy and I can perform a pirouette. Uh. I'll show Doodle my cat leader impression. Tinned peaches. Yum! My favorite! <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect, everybody. Do all that. We're going to have Doodle flying in no time. You know what to do. Check it out, Doodle. Now, no one will think it's funny or strange, because we're all doing it too. Yes. Dad said the giddy tree is the biggest tree in the forest. So if we go to the top, we should be close enough to reach the moon. 
Good plan. Hup. Come on, Ditto, you can do it. made of cheese. We'll bring you back some. What did you say? Yes. Have a lovely day. <laughs> Here we are at the top. This is the best slide ever. Slippy and slidey and so much fun. Let's keep on sliding till the day is done. Little birds are brave too. Come on, let's show them. Yay! Yay! <laughs> 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 Wee! 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 This is amazing! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Huh? Where did you all come from? Gosh, Doodle, something must have hatched. A butterfly. How beautiful. Look at all these not so many beasts, Doodle. Oh. <laughs> ah, you see, Doodle, tadpoles turn into frogs and cocoons turn into butterflies. All these little animals grow up and change. Yeah, just like the baby swans did. It's true. Changed for the better. We're much more elegant now. <laughs> See, Doodle, we might not be the best at fishing today, but who knows? We could grow up to become the best oh, fishers no. in the world. Indeed, you can grow up to become whatever you want to be. That's great. But for now, I'm very happy to just be me. Glad to hear it, Doodle. Now, before we release these little creatures back into the pond, how about one last photo? Smile, everyone! Have you found a four-leaf clover? Not yet. Have you found a four-leaf clover? Not yet. Finding four-leaf clovers is hard. How many leaves does a four-leaf clover have again, Dodo? Four leaves, I think. Wait, I found something. Oh, it's just a stick. A can of peaches? Is that? No, just a rock. Robert. Hey, a frog! Robert. Do you get lucky frogs, Dodo? I don't think so, Odo. <gasps> I think... Yes! It's a clover! It is! How many leaves does it have? One, two, three... Oh! It's just a three-leaf clover! Keep hunting, Doodle! Today we shall be doing some pottery with lovely squishy clay! Yay! <laughs> Mind my feathers. A nature ramble is a wonderful thing. As we stroll through the trees, we'll spot many amazing creatures and interesting plants. Now, the forest is very big, and some of you are very small. Find a partner and stick together for the whole of our ramble. Is that understood? Yes. I'm sticking with you, Odo. Oh. Hello, little Scuttle. Are we all ready? Yes, Campida. Let's go and keep oh. a sharp eye out for interesting flora and fauna. I know flora and fauna, and believe me, they're not that interesting. <laughs> Ooh, I'll keep looking on this side, Odo, and you keep looking on that side. Ooh, I've already seen a stick. Ooh, Beatrice Pints. Raspberry, blueberry, blackcurrant, gorse. Today, campers, we will create a portrait of your favourite bird in all the world. Whoa! 
Trying to get some shut eye here. <laughs> Today, campers, we'll be learning all about how to identify animal tracks. Can anyone tell me who made these tracks? That's rabbit tracks. Well done. Now, what about this? Easy. A snake did that. Or a pigeon post. And a bicycle. Pigeon oh, post <laughs> and a bike. Yes, very funny, Flo. I want you all to look hard for animal tracks. Try to identify them. Come on, Diddle. Let's see what we can track. <laughs> 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 These look like chicken tracks, and they just go in cycles. <gasps> These must be hedgehog tracks. These have clearly been left by a badger. Oh, well done, campers. Remember to keep checking your animal tracking books and make a note of all the tracks you find. Oh, no, my bag. I was in such a hurry. I guess I forgot it. Never mind, Dodo. You can have some of my paper. In the woods there was a tree, the biggest tree you ever did see. And in that tree there was a penguin and a huge ostrich. And a lovely, lovely can of peaches. <laughs> oh, careful there. This is the best slide ever. It's slippy and slidey and so much fun. Let's keep on sliding till the day is done. Odo, you're here. Diddle, oh, I need to show you something. It's my Odo dance. <laughs> Does anyone want to see my Odo dance? We're both very different and we're not the same, but we're family, you and me. who got in touch with Pigeon Post, who knew just where to fly, and to make a long story short... My family! Now, before it's time to go home, there's time for just one more thing. Oh, we are birds of the forest, and together we will play and rest. Whether it's nest building, swimming or singing, we always give it our best. Um, what are we listening for? <laughs> Let's go and keep oh. a sharp eye out for interesting flora and fauna. I know flora and fauna, and believe me, they're not that interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll learn all these leaves for real. We can do it if we just believe in ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Why are Odo and the small birds dressed like trees? Maybe they're branching out. <laughs> Shirley is the best. Listen to the fans cheering for Shirley. Yep, they're egging her on. Oh, egging. Oi, watch where you're sticking that thistle, Lou. Ah, get Clover it. Oh, <laughs> Clover. Oh. See, Doodle, we found these two rocks. Perfect for a rock and roll joke. 
I think this rock is funnier, but Louie thinks that rock is funnier. We need you to decide who's right. Hmm. Well, they're both funny rocks. I don't think I can say... Try being a little bolder. Oh, <laughs> oh bolder! <laughs> hey, there's another rock over there. I think that one might be the funniest rock yet. <laughs> oh, my sides! Just another hilarious day with us chickens. <laughs> hey, Louie, why did the chicken cross the road? To find some jokes. Hey, are you, you saying, saying we're not funny? funny? Yes. <laughs> why do flamingos lift up one leg? If they lift it both up, they'd fall over. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's true. <laughs> what a lovely scene. Scene? I thought the whole episode was great. <laughs> 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 Watch this. Ah, oh, wow. <laughs> what are you doing? Martin is showing us how to make bark gliders. You want me to teach you how? First, <laughs> you have to find the right piece of bark. to pass to the canaries. We just have to make sure they're not scared of the ball. Then we have to get past the chickens. There's an easy way to do that. Tell us a joke. Ah. Why did the banana go to the doctor? Because it wasn't peeling well. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. Doodle will distract Leonardo. Can I have an autograph? I'm such a big fan. But of course. <laughs> What a fine specimen. Too bad it's not lucky. Lucky? A lot of people think that, but it's just a plant. A very rare plant. And just think, Odo, if all those things hadn't happened to you today, you wouldn't have come searching for this plant, and you would never have seen it. Ah, oh, so maybe all those things that happened to me weren't so terrible after all. You see? You make your own path. Luck has nothing to do with it. You're Luck had nothing to do with all this stuff that went wrong. It was all down to me. I missed snacks because I was late. My motto broke because I didn't wait for the glue to dry. My hair came apart because I wasn't careful. I fell off the tree stump because I was in a hurry. And now we're lost because... Because you haven't looked up yet. <gasps> the giddy tree! 
Just walk toward that tree and you'll go straight back to camp. I just don't want to let anyone down. But saying yes to everyone means you let yourself down. It's really not that hard to say no. I'm not sure. I don't want to disappoint anyone. You want to read my comic? No, thank you. A comic sounds a bit silly to me. Wow, you really are sensible. That's so funny. Excuse me? <laughs> you two, pretending to be sensible. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. And what do you have in your head? That's their sensible hats, Doodle. Sensible hats? That's a good one. <laughs> so even when we're being sensible, we're still funny. Look at me. I'm sensible. <laughs> Doodle, you're up. But what about your hurt ankle? Oh, my ankle. I was having so much fun, I forgot all about it. It doesn't even hurt anymore. Laughter really is the best medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Is everything all right, Odo? Not really. Toodle is sad, and I think it might be my fault. Can you tell me what happened? Well, I wanted to help her fly, and I tried to make her not hear things or see things, but it looks like all I did was make her even more upset. Perhaps the problem isn't what Doodle heard or saw, but what she felt. But how can I help with that? Well, there's actually a trick to it. Listen. I can't hear anything. <laughs> Sometimes just talking about a thing that scares us can make that thing a lot less scary. And all we need is a good friend who's willing to listen. Sorry I snapped at you, Doodle. It's okay. People say things they don't mean when they're sad. I wouldn't mind flying somewhere warm, but we owls can't fly such long distances. I bet I could if I practiced a lot. I guess we'll never get to finish the Feathers album. Sure we will. How? Well, um, birds leave feathers behind them all the time. So, if we just follow Inspector Feathers around, we're bound to find one. This is going to be the best film ever. It's a disaster. It's brilliant. Brilliant? So far, we've just got dancing swans, fighting chickens and a boastful peacock. But that's brilliant, because this is a film about Forest Camp, and Forest Camp is great. But the guests will be here soon. We won't be ready. We'll totally be ready. Is it all right if we just run around and film stuff? Mm -hmm. Great! Let's go, Doodle! Knowing leaves is really important. Yeah, it might take some time and hard work, but we'll learn all these leaves for real. We can do it if we just be leaf in ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I can visit the moon if I want to. <gasps> But Camp Leader said you can't. Well, I know I can. And how are you going to do that? I'll prove it by bringing back a piece of the moon. You coming, Doodle? Um, yeah. <laughs> Bring us back some cheese. <laughs> Why didn't you try to fly, Doodle? I'm not sure. It's like there was this little voice in my ear telling me not to. A voice in your ear? Don't worry, Doodle. We'll get that voice out. I know we can. <laughs> what are we going to do? Camp Leader will be here any minute. Don't worry, Leo. We'll think of something. I know we can. Odo is very good at thinking of things. I know. What if we make you the model? I beg your pardon? If we cover you in mud, we'll have a new model in no time. Ka ma mud You'll be even bigger than our old model. And I hear mud is really great for your feathers. Ugh. He must have sneaked back to camp to get it and pinched a biscuit. I'm no biscuit thief. Doodle gave me this paper. Isles are honest birds, and we'll find that biscuit thief and prove it. Yes, we will. Um... Do you think we can, Odo? I know we can. Why is a baby bird inside a rock? Oh, how very egg-citing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Grandma Cerise. 
Lovely Grandmaster Reese. Hang on. I don't have a Grandmaster Reese. No, but we do. She's our grandma. Oh, sorry, Odo. Looks like I got my delivery wrong. Must be time for a cup of tea. My brain stops working when it needs tea. <laughs> bird statues, bird statues. What's that? What? It's a game. One bird turns their back. We all try to sneak up. The bird spins around, and if they see you move, you're out. So you try to stay still. Like a statue. Oh, oh. And Shirley always wins! Yay! Ow! <laughs> you enjoy yourselves. <laughs> While I enjoy a well-earned cookie. I'm not being mean. I'm just asking questions. Yes, there's nothing wrong with asking questions. We just want to know what kind of bird is going to be at our forest camp for however long this takes. Oh, um, well... Doodle's right. We must be nice to Martin. If I got separated from my family, I would be really worried. Well... Hello. Huh? Hello, Odo's mum and dad. Hello, Doodle. Happy Bring Your Parents to Camp Day, everyone. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Bring Your Parents to Camp Day isn't until next week. Oh, no. That's fine, Odo. We can go home to bed. We're almost dropping off anyway. Yes, we had a big night. <sighs> and we're not used to being awake during the day. Oh, please stay. I would love you to see what life is like at Forest Camp. And I want everyone to know how fun you are. We can come back next week. But next week we will be playing hide and seek. And I'm so good at hide and seek. I am last week's winner. Yeah. Please stay. Well, we are here now, I suppose. Splendid! You're welcome to stay and join in the games. All of us are different. Some of us are big, some of us are small. Some of us are in the middle. Some have feathers and some have fur. But we're all friends. We're here. Huh? Huh? Oh. <gasps> <gasps> Mum! Mum, this is Odo. Oh. Hello, Odo. Um, uh, hello, um, Doodle's mum. Your mum is a badger? Doodle, hi! <laughs> Have a seat, young Odo. Make yourself at home. <laughs> Daffodils, my favorite. <clears throat> Thank you, Doodle. I've been waiting such a long time to meet you, dear Odo. Doodle's told me so much about you. <laughs> But I can't actually see you, dear, because my eyes don't work any longer. But I have the best daughter in the world to help me. So, Odo, my mum is a badger, and I'm adopted. Wow! The time has come to open the treasure chest. The treasure is... A book! Oh. <gasps> the Forest Friends picture book. All the different animals in the forest are here. Owls, foxes, mice. You found the treasure, Odo, so you get to keep the book. <gasps> Some of us have feathers, others have fur, but we're all forest friends. So, maybe I was wrong. I didn't know. Thanks, Odo. Oh, I'm sorry, Odo. I thought I'd be able to show you all the things I remembered from my childhood, but everything's changed so much. You didn't get to play in the river or climb that big tree. Even this rock is broken. I brought you all this way, but the trail is ruined. Ruined? It's great. Look, because the river was dry, I found these wild flowers and this. Ah, so that funny noise was you. And look at the next page. At the fallen tree, I found a monster beetle. And look here, where the rock got hit by lightning, it looks like ripples. We'll call it Lightning Ripple Rock. And the tree with the scarf, we'll call it Scarf Tree. The other camper 
Bears will love it when they come here. If everything had been exactly the same as I remembered, you wouldn't have seen any of those things, would you? <laughs> I suppose everyone sees beauty in their own way. And now you're making your own memories. Superbird Challenge reminds us that we should never assume anyone is what we expect them to be. Some of us are big and some are small. Some have feathers, some have fur. But all of us in the forest are equal. And now, a song to finish. Or maybe a rap? <laughs> <laughs> You're too old to rap. Oh, I get your nod. Well, I love hip-hop and they're never gonna stop From the bottom of the giddy tree to the very top Come on! Yeah! You can't stop! We're hip-hip-hop from the bottom to the top Yeah! Twat! Can we help you? You look like you're having fun. We always have fun in Club Chicken. <laughs> Club Chicken? Can we join? You're an owl and you're a... Hmm. It's a club for chickens. That's why it's called Club Chicken. Get it? Aww. <laughs> ah, the kid's good. Let's see what else he's got. I'll make you a deal. If you and your friend here can make all of us chickens laugh, then you can both join our club. We can do that, right, Doodle? Um, we're supposed to be looking for a blue flower. We can do both. Hey, chickens, why do ducks fly south for winter? Because it's too far to walk. <laughs> You'll have to do better than that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Doodle, you'll lead the nature spotting and I'll think of jokes. Sound like a plan? A good plan. You can play whatever game you want. Oh, bird statues. Please, please, please. Bird statues, bird statues, what's that? What? It's a game. One bird turns their back. We all try to sneak up. The bird spins around, and if they see you move, you're out. So you try to stay still, like a statue. Ooh, ooh. And Shirley always wins. Yay! I'm it! Everybody who wants to play, line up. Oh. <laughs> I think I'll have a go. Okay. I'll watch and cheer, Odo. Cheering is important. Shirley is the best! Shirley is the best! That is disgusting! Oh, a poor pond. I'm not talking about the pond. I'm talking about my tail. I was taking a dip in the water, and now I'm pink! Wah, wah, wah. And look! The flamingos are pink, too! Wah, wah, wah. Flamingos were always pink. When a big storm blows through, sometimes the older trees do fall down. So, campers, what can we do to help protect the forest for future generations? Blow really hard to blow the storms away. <laughs> a good suggestion. Shirley, Joe, where are you? I can use a little help here. This board sure is heavy. Um, hello, everybody? Camp leader told us to find the X, remember? So, Odo and I... Doodle is right! We can't dig without an X! We have to draw the X first, then dig! Yeah! <laughs> That's not what I meant! Look what I made out of Doodle stuff! A pointy hat! We can play I'm a pointy head! Yeah! You put the pointy hat in your head like this and you say... I'm a pointy head! <laughs> Um, I'm a pointy head. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this one's just for you, camp leader. What do you call a train carrying bubble gum? A choo-choo train! <laughs> Get it? Because you chew gum, so it's a choo-choo train! <laughs> OK, Isles, first game! Stick the tail on ready! Close enough! <laughs> <laughs> Musical statues! When the music stops, stand totally still!
What a racket! She should have stuck with the tennis racket! This isn't working! Stick with it! <laughs> Stick! <laughs> Root! 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 Seems like you're really getting to the roots of the problem! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is so funny? Doodle is sad, so we're cheering him up! We're playing I'm a Pointy Head. <laughs> I wanted to play with Ojo, but he's busy. You know, when I need a cheering up, I dance myself happy. Let's all cheer up, Doodle, with a happy dance. Hey, let's all cheer up, Doodle. How many owls do you need for a dance? Well, it takes twit to woo to tango. Is this cheering you up? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you all of you. You really made me laugh. And now. I've got a great idea what to build with my stuff. Let's build a castle! Yay! Maybe you could paint this bowl with fruit? No. I know what I want to paint. Artist's choice. There's someone here to see you, Leonardo. <gasps> Mama! Has Leo's mum come to see him? Yes, she's absolutely fine and wanted to come and tell him the good news herself. Wow! Look what he painted! It's brilliant! Wow! <laughs> you each have to create the most interesting piece of art from a box of forest forage. Nice, Odo. Uh, what is this? Art! Oh, 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 oh. The chickens win! <gasps> wow. Oh. Never underestimate a chicken. Huh? I guess I'll just do a painting while I'm waiting for her. Hmm, yes! That looks perfect! But where's. <gasps> Doodle? What are you doing there? With Thelma? I don't understand. Doodle? Doodle! Doodle? And we're Doodle Dan. <gasps> Best model ever. Hmm. Sorry, Yodo. I'm posing for my picture. And Thelma told me not to move a muscle. Oh. That's why. And here it is. <gasps> Palma. It's perfect. That's because you're beautiful. Oh, you're so sweet. No, you're sweet. No, you. No, you. No, you. No, you. No, you. No, you. Are no. you finished? What's that in your wing, Odo? Oh, it's a picture of me. I love it. <laughs> All done. Done? That isn't done. What about the decorations? What decorations? Odo, the detail is what makes the difference between good and great. Watch. That is detail. That's amazing. Come, we must decorate the rest of me. I 
everyone from Forest Camp an owl? Or is it just this one? I'm the only owl at camp. I didn't ask you. <gasps> oh, well, you didn't say who the question was for. Yeah, that wasn't nice. Say sorry to our friend. He's your <gasps> friend, not mine. <gasps> now look here. Squirt, 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 squirt. Hey, Odo, what are you doing? It's Reggie. We're digging for treasure. I mean, I'm digging for treasure. Ooh, can I help? <laughs> I found something. Hooray! <gasps> uh, uh, right. yeah. We did it! We did it! Yay, you found it! Yes. You say you don't like me, Jer, but you don't even know me. You are an owl. That is enough for me to know that I don't like you. You shouldn't like him either, Michael. How could you be friends with this owl? We are mice. I used to believe those things about owls too, but I met Odo and found out I was wrong. If I wasn't Odo's friend, I would have missed out on so much fun, like helping Odo being spooky on story night. I would like you to meet our newest friend, Michael. And after the big storm, it was Odo's idea for the birds to build us a new home. A brand new mouse house. Oh, I didn't know that. But we have fur. He has feathers. I have fur just like you, but I'm also best friends with Odo. At the end of the day, we all come from the same place, the forest. And whatever you think, it's never okay to hurt someone's feelings. I, um... I'm sorry. Thanks. Now come on, let's go back to camp and share this treasure with everyone. Me, <gasps> ready. Hello. Uh, wait a minute, we can't fly. So how do we get up here? Odo, Doodle, step away from the fox. Reggie's not like other foxes. He's friendly and he's vegetarian. And he knows loads about the forest. The parrot who will face the canaries oh. at speed counting. Oh. First to count all the sycamore leaves is the winner. The parrot squawks too much. He will never win. Everyone can be good at counting. Uh. One, two, one, two, squawk, three, four, five, squawk, squawk, one, two, three, three four, five, five six, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ten. It's a draw. Yes. First apples. I wonder if Reggie saw one. Reggie? Huh? The fox? The fox bruised the apple? No. Reggie would never do a thing like that. He's my friend. Hmm. Never trust a creature with fur instead of feathers. Yeah, they're forever getting into trouble. Oh, ah, that's oh, not ah, fair. Ah. Or true. Michael the mouse has fur and we all trust him. Oh, maybe it was <laughs> Michael. But he's too small to even lift an apple. Then it must have been Reggie. <gasps> <gasps> Let's not be quick to judge others. The bruised apples could simply be an accident. Now, let's get this camp tidied up and ready for the festival. <laughs> <laughs>